To the Jen and Julian podcast. We are back. We had a good string of guests, but now we're back. Now we're back. Just us. We can make it if we try. Hit with that fire, girl. Just the two of us. This episode of the Jen and Julian podcast is brought to you by Headspace. Get some Headspace right now with a guided meditation on the Headspace app. Go to headspace.com slash Jenna Julian. Try the Take 10 program and do 10 days of free. Guided. Free guided meditation. Anywhere you are. Shut the... <laughs> Thank you, Headspace. The other sponsor this week is Bowl and Branch. Guys, all your luxury betting needs for affordable prices, go to... Ooh, there you go. That's a little better. Bowlandbranch.com. Use promo code Jenna Julian. Ooh. What is that? I don't know. Sorry. I started messing with the audio jacks. It was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 20% off when you use promo code Jenna Julian. Uh, Bowling Branch makes amazing bedding. The towels, softest sheets, ever. Anything you need. Uh, go to bowlingbranch.com. We sleep on them all the time, and then except when we wash them, and then that's the worst day of all the days. Yeah, because then we don't sleep on them. Anyway, thank you to our sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. So, we have a game. We have a game today. Are you excited? Well, first, can we talk about that we're having a celebratory beverage right now? Because we we just spent so much time, like, redoing our backyard, and it came out amazing. And we're, like, we're happy and We spent the bulk of the last two days going out and getting stuff and assembling it and putting it and cleaning out there. Um, But it's kind of turned into a really wonderful spot, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, seriously. We debated podcasting outside. We did. It's just the audio would sucked. Yeah, the AC is really loud, like noisy. Oh, my God. Even if we turned off the AC, though, um, while we both can't speak, so congrats on being in my club, the (laughs) Can't Speak Club. Uh, There's tons of stuff outside that, like, there's construction, there's birds, there's the dogs. And the squirrel. That fucking, fucking squirrel. squirrel. Our neighbor cut down this giant ass branch today because <laughs> the squirrel kept running across it. We're like, thanks, fam. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you'll see more vlogs out there now. You'll see, you know, us hanging out more Because it's there. a livable space. It's so yeah. amazing. And we, we really finally we, did it. We, we did. We invested some time and some money into it because we really feel like, you know, we constantly feel like we want to like go on little staycations for the weekend, whether it's like Big Bear or whatever, because it's just like a fresh place to hang out outside or outside, wherever. Outside, yeah. And we don't ever do that here. And so now we have a... It's too fucking hot outside. Well, and we have a system where there's an umbrella for the yeah, shade. Yeah, now we have an umbrella. So you can go hang out there and like use your phone without going blind. Yeah. And the and the uh, the table we got doubles as like a mini fire pit. So it's we can awesome. sit out there at night if it's we're cold. And- awesome. Yeah, so right. enough of us bragging about but it in the backyard. We, oh, my God. We have a really cool... I hope it's going to be really cool and fun. I have high hopes. This game. But By the was, way, I'm drinking Firestone IPA. They made a gluten-free, gluten-free. IPA. It's fucking incredible. It's sick. So cool. Um, this was suggested on my Facebook, and I was laughing pretty hard because it's a fantastic suggestion. It was su- suggested by Jobama Farika on my Facebook. Um, we're going to play a game called Nuclear Winter. Yeah. Where you... Write down 20 people, just 20 regular people, occupations. We did it sort of by occupation. And then you write down, I think we end up, we wound up doing 21, actually, because we added one wild card in there. Yeah. But uh, then you write down 20 characteristics. So and in this hat, have, we have the characteristics. And in that fanny pack, we have people. People. Oh, by the way, I, reali- I didn't realize they're both fine things. <laughs> <laughs> but so what happens is you... You pair them up with each other randomly, and then you have to pretend that you're in a bomb shelter that only houses us and 10 other people. Mm -hmm. So these sometimes good, sometimes bad people are going to be paired with sometimes good, sometimes bad characteristics. And we have to decide who we're going to keep in our bomb shelter with us to survive the apocalypse, Mm -hmm. the nuclear winter. Mm -hmm. So... So you want to get going? I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited. We made them pretty fucky. Yeah, we were giggling um, outside in our new backyard. Yeah. No, it should be. not just Peach's toy graveyard anymore. Anybody else else have a dog, though, that brings their toys outside and then leaves them out there and ruins them? (laughs) Ingrid. Bring your toys inside. (laughs) You naughty. Yeah, we got kind of creative with these characteristics. And uh, so... When will we break? We'll we'll pick them and then break and then assess? Yeah. Okay. So then we have to debate who we're going to keep and who we're going to lose. Okay. All right. I like that. All right. Do you want to do the characteristics or the people? Yeah, I'll do characteristics. All right. Make sure they're random. They're in a hat. They're random. Make sure they're random. How do I make sure it's random? Don't look. You can't look while you're picking them. 
You re- you got one? Yeah. Okay, I'll read the person first okay. and then the characteristic. Okay. So the first person up for debate for our nuclear bomb shelter is a nurse. Oh. Okay. Okay. A nurse who has four puppies that they will bring with them. Ooh. That's a good candidate right there. Okay. So we'll put them together. There's These are going to blow away because of that fan. A nurse with... No, they won't. The, pa- the fan's pointed towards me, so you're safe. <laughs> I Look think. at it. It's going to blow away. Should I turn off the yeah, fan? Yeah, turn it off. Mm. It's really going to blow away. Mm. But thank you. Also, I forgot to say an actual thank you to uh, the person that suggested this because this is fucking exciting. I'm excited. All right. Second person. I'll draw the occupation. Get in here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, okay. It's about to get all hot up in here. A ventriloquist. Who is also a veteran zombie prepper. Ooh. That's really good and really bad. Okay, that's valuable, though. A veteran zombie prepper is valuable. Yep. Okay. All right. right. Let's keep going. I'm already hot. Julian, come on. I'm fine. I'm just kidding. Don't be undramatic. I'm not. Okay. A chef? Who chews with their mouth open. No. That's that's bad. That's, That's not good. Okay. All right. I mean, it's ironic a little. Yeah. But whatever. I'm going to mix them all up. I want to make sure they're good. All right, you ready? Yep. A horse. <laughs> Just a horse. <laughs> a horse who won't stop lighting their own farts on fire. <laughs> <laughs> a horse that won't stop lighting their own farts on fire. It's pretty fucking amazing. It's pretty damn good. But, like, you could ride them for entertainment. All right. We, we'll debate them later. We'll debate them later. So we do all 20, and then we pick. 21. Okay. 21. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready, BB? BB. Go. Okay. A pregnant woman. Who is really sexy. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> it's, I underlined it like a bunch, though. It's really, really sexy. <laughs> you know, this could have gone so much worse. A pregnant woman, because we yeah, brought some people in here. That, that we shouldn't be calling sexy. Really sexy. Yeah. All right. A sexy pregnant. That's like a thing, right? People have like that fetish. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a fetish for everything. It's true. It's true. That table's looking pretty damn hot. <laughs> that ta- yeah, a horse. That is really sexy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, a marine. Oh, a marine that has a truck full of guns, food, water, and other supplies they'll bring. That's a definite uh, yes. Oh, uh, oh. You cannot I not mean, have that guy in your bomb shelter. Okay. That's like an right. easy way to survive. Right yeah, there. that's like a layup. Yeah. We already know what we're dealing with that. One. Like, how did those two get together? I don't know. That's it's bullshit. Completely fucking random. It's rigged. All right, you can't read yours until uh, I read I don't mine. Know, I don't a homeless person. Who insists on having a guitar kumbaya sing along every night before bed. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Uh, it's believable. Okay. Insists on having a guitar kumbaya sing along every night. Every single night. Like every fucking bed. night. Every single Everyone night. Everyone got in a fight. Doesn't matter. Tonight we're doing kumbaya. That's right. All right. People could be starving to death and he's got to play the guitar. People could be dead. Okay. A police officer. What? Just his doctor. Oh, no. We fucked it up. We got to put this in here. We got to shuffle it in. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Pick another one. All right. Police officer. We fucked up, guys. We done fucked up. Who masturbates at least greater than or equal to eight times a day. (laughs) (laughs) And no one can ever say shit because he's a cop. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Greater than or equal to eight Mm -hmm. times a day? Yeah. So at least eight. Oftentimes more. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. A teacher. Who has scissors for hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. How does she teach the children? <laughs> hey, kids. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> you don't want to be in time out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you fuck. You fuck. Don't read it yet. I'm not reading it. Don't cheat. Boy. Don't boy me. Boy, if you don't... Okay, all right. Can you... <laughs> <laughs> An architect. Who, who has a Mensa brain. 
Okay, fair That's enough. Actually, Julian came up with that one. Who <laughs> has a Mensa brain? Well, what do you call it when you're when you're Mensa? A member of Mensa. But you have a Mensa brain. I mean, I suppose it's a prerequisite to being a member of I Mensa. I suppose I'm right, too. Fuck <laughs> you. I suppose I'm right. Uh, how many is that so far? That's... Ten. Ten. All right. We have ten more to go. All right. They better be good. Okay. Thank you, Ethan. H3H3. H3. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a pop star... Who sighs, complains, and says, well, what are we going to do now in every situation? <laughs> Believable. Uh, well, what are we going to do now? <laughs> like, I would fucking... Uh, okay, we're going to... You came up with that character. I know, I did. One. I came up with both of those. Okay, you ready? Mm. You read it beforehand. You cheated. That's not cheating. Cheater. <laughs> Put what it back I, in the pot. You can't do that. That's double cheating. Oh you already saw what it was. I think this is it. You, oh, Julian. Jenna, Jenna, stop. You're making this worse <laughs> than it is. All right, I think this is it. Like 60% sure. A masseuse. Who makes an offensive amount of the office references every day. <laughs> Me. Gee, I wonder who I that was inspired that by. Yeah. I wrote that because I'm, you know, I love you, but it's a lot of office references. Yeah. When we get married, um, my entire vows are going to be the office references. Was that an office reference in and of itself? Are we going to walk down the aisle to forever? We're going to escape and go on a cruise at Niagara Falls and then come back to the it's wedding. It's not a wet. cruise, okay? And then happily ever after. It's a little boat that goes cruise. under the... F- it's not so a cruise. So you have seen the wedding at Niagara Falls. Isn't that the maiden of the mist or whatever? Oh, no, I'm from Rochester. She's, she's ready for our wedding at Niagara Falls. Oh, my God. No. We're going to get all wet. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get all dressed up and like put my fake eyelashes on and then go get soaking wet hey, in beautiful Buffalo, New York. You want to get wet and married? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the good side of the falls. Uh, the Canadian side is better. Dwight, you ignorant slut. Okay. Anyways. A botanist. Okay. Who is also a severe and violent alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny pairing. I like that. That throws a wrench in the shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just hates botany so much that he just fucking he's rages. He's got it every day he gets home and he just got to fucking oh, God. take the edge off. There's like beautiful flowers everywhere and holes in his wall everywhere. <laughs> he argues with the plants all yeah. the time. Okay. Pedophile. Oh, wait. Well, did we mess him up? We did. No, we pe- put two pedophiles. No, this is... Oh, we did two pedophiles? No, pedophile is a characteristic, not a oh. person. Sorry, guys, we keep fucking up. It's probably Peach's fault. It is. To be fair. All right. All right. Sorry. Sorry. A convicted felon. By the way, guys, happy 4th of July. Today's the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Cause Holy it's shit, it took us this long. Yeah, so it's, it's not the 4th yet, but for you, it's the 4th. Happy 4th. Mm. Enjoy this treat. As a 4th of July celebration. That's crazy Happy that we forgot to say that. Happy in America Day. Fuck. Feel it's bad. It's America Day. Independence of America. Pendants. All right. I have yeah. a person. Yep. Convicted felon. First degree murder. Who thinks they're also a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. All right. Can you imagine though? Okay. We'll talk about it later. Anyways. Yeah. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. A lawyer. Who's also a rapist. Oh, God. A serial rapist. Serial rapist. Okay. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck is right. These people are fucked. All right. Ready? Mm hmm. A mechanic. Pedophile. Ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Fix cars and also touch kids. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Johnny. What? I'm stating the facts. Mm, you you so actually weird. wrote, I think. No, I wrote. I wrote mechanic. It feels so weird it does right feel now. Weird. Does feel weird. Why is my beer spilling? Did I? Oh, because I moved it sideways. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Or cause, did you put it down? Like, no, I moved it sideways to like get it under this thing, and that fucked it up. Mm-hmm. Well, you better drink it. You should mm. chug it. Mm-hmm. You spilled mm-hmm. it on your mm-hmm. shorts. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. did that. You you did it. I did. 
Now it's on the chair and there's a whole thing about it. There's actually a, a blurb on Wikipedia about what just happened. <laughs> Okay. The beer that spilled on Julian's pants. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I put it sideways. All right, wait. The mayor. Who of currently where we are. is heavily addicted to meth. Oh my god. So he's 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 currently mayor and he's also currently a meth addict. Yeah. Cool. What yes. town? Wherever we are. Yeah. Mm. So. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Oh, what's it gonna be? A doctor. Okay, it's a valuable person. Who's triggered in claustrophobic situations. No! Oh, <laughs> it's so brutal, because we're in a bomb shelter. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, shit. Oh, man. We're all going to die of horrible diseases. Here lies your penis. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A seven-year-old orphan. Who pretends that they are a cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great card. Pretends that they're a cat. Oh, I definitely don't want that orphan around here. <laughs> they might be entertaining. All right, we'll talk about it. We'll get there. 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 All right. A musically star. Who has two invisible friends, Parney Winkle and Olay, that they will be bringing with them. Oh my god. Not the worst person to have in your book. <laughs> Close, <laughs> but not the worst. <laughs> like, imagine them just like. Hey, they, Wrinkle. Hey, LA. They don't use their last, like, cell phone battery for anything productive. <laughs> they try and make like, it. Like, they're the only one left with. So okay, let's yeah, get it. Okay. <laughs> last one? Yeah. Right. A rocket scientist. S who doesn't stop asking you to subscribe to their YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, right. this game is stressful for a lot of reasons, but I think the main reason why it's stressful is because we're stuck in this bomb shelter with no good bedding. But you could have good bedding because you're not in a bomb shelter. You could get some Bowl and Branch sheets <laughs> for your bed right now. Guys, go to Bowl and Branch and check out their selection of awesome sheets. Bowl and Branch cuts out the middlemen, uh, that you don't have to go to a store. You don't have to, I mean, mattress stores, sheets, stuff. Like, really, get it online. Have it shipped to your door from Bowl and Branch. They deliver incredibly quality materials. You'll sleep on it for the first time, and you'll realize, like, I mean, how, how do yeah. you describe, like, what the, the Bowl and Branch sheets are just a different level? You can't go back. Um, Risk-free th for 30 nights. You try for 30 nights, you don't like it, get your money back. That's how that's how it works. It's that's pretty how confident they are. Yeah, uh, Bowl and Branch. Just go online to bowlandbranch dot com. That's b o l l and branch dot com. Use product code Jenna Julian and get yourself some sheets, and then take a selfie on the sheets, and then send them to us because we want to see your new sheets. Not in yeah, like be a, clothed though. Yeah, well, do it in your clothes. Send the nudes to Jenna. I'll take the clothes. Stop. Um, <laughs> buying uh, the bedding from them is really. Please really don't make, send me your nudes. I love you. I care about you, but no. Uh, free shipping, guys. And you know free what? Free shipping? They're Damn, so comfortable okay. that they've graced the beds of three po former U.S. president presidents and countless what? celebrities. Yeah, I didn't know that. Three former U.S. presidents have slept on Bowling Branch. Guys, that's greatness. That's actually that a really cool actual greatness. Right that is there. cool. That is cool. It's yeah, really cool. 20% off with our code. Uh, anything you guys are getting. Sheets, towels, blankets, duvet covers, everything on the site. 20% off when you use Jenna Julian at B-O-L-L and branch.com. Check it out and let us know what you think. Next sponsor, guys, uh, Headspace. I've talked so much about Headspace and how it really is something that you can't replace right now. Like the the way that they make meditating very easy and they obviously guide you because it's guided meditation just to take you out. Like I, I can't tell you how many times where I just want – I like pop in my headphones and I'm like 10, mm -hmm. mi 10 minutes. 10 that minutes. goes by – like in your normal day, 10 minutes goes by so fast. But if you just stop for a second, it feels like a great, long, relaxing 10-minute break mm -hmm. that a lot of times when you're, you know, whether you're at work or you're, you're doing work or you're with whatever, you can take 10 minutes and turn off and have guided meditation with the Headspace app to help you re really reduce stress and anxiety. Those are two real things that a lot of people go through, including myself. Uh, Headspace is a wonderful tool. Uh, for your daily life, you can try it 10 days for free. Guided meditation. You just pop your headphones into your phone, tablet, computer, 
wherever you are. Uh, go to headspace.com slash Jenna Julian to get started and download the free Headspace app, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you will be hard pressed to find something as good as that and as convenient and easy to use also as effective as the Headspace app. Mm-hmm. So thank you to Headspace for sponsoring the podcast, guys. Go check yeah, them out. thank you, sponsors. You know, what? just totally sidebar when you're talking about that. I was thinking the other night that I wanted to look it up. When I was little, I had a cassette tape that I bought at this store down the street from where I lived that was called The Angel Shop. And they would sell all these little, like, angels and, like, little figurines and, like, just weird mm-hmm. angel stuff. And I bought a cassette tape from there that was just a woman speaking with like some rain sounds and like ASMR. it was like it sounded like asmr yeah. and i would put my put it in my walkman and fall asleep to it and she would talk to you about your guardian angels and where they yeah. are and what they're doing and that you imagine yourself like sliding down a rainbow with your guardian angel and stuff it was really adorable that's sweet yeah it was but it was like doing guided headspace, meditation yeah. sort of but not really. It was, it was I your call own it, version of Headspace. I wouldn't call it meditating. But every single night I wanted to listen to yeah. that. It was like the best. Like even if you did that like app or something like that, you're like, uh, I want to take 10 minutes and just listen to this. Yeah. Right I mean, it's a, like if you think it's about incredible. it, it's a great way to turn off. It's incredible. Like go to sleep too. I know. Um, yeah. That's, that's funny. I like that story. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's cute. All right, enough about you. Shut up. All right, back to the nuclear winter. I love you. Okay. Um, we have to narrow down 10 people. That we definitely want to take with because us. Because we are both going to be in there. So this is, like, we're, we don't each have our pick. This is a dual pick. Yeah, we got we to gotta figure it out. Right. So definitely the Marine. Right off the bat. Yeah, the Marine he, with all the supplies, that's a no-brainer. So the person. Congratulations to person to number one. The Marine. This is a complete given. The Marine that has a truck full of guns, food, water, and other supplies that they will I bring. mean, think of a more tailor-made perfect answer. Right. Like this that's is our definitely. first person. Okay, right? Sure. We're good? Yes. Okay. Now we need to debate who we're keeping. So in a bomb shelter, you like... Some people who are good with like materials that you can find anywhere, right? Like the botanist, the mechanic, like what are the, what are their deals again? Okay. So, uh, well, yeah, the most important people, like the doctor, like we really need a doctor. We need a doctor. But he's triggered in claustrophobic the situations. Deal? The nurse. Yeah, we could take the doctor or the nurse because I but feel like they the both nurse, like, has four puppies that they'll bring with them. But the nurse is not a doctor. Like yeah. they don't have the skills a doctor I has. mean, they still go to medical school, don't Just they? Just saying. You know, that's true. They go to medical school. But the, th- there's a reason that they're a nurse and not a doctor. Mm. They haven't put in the time, the years and years and years of apprenticeship or whatever to get to being a doctor. They could do that, though, school. in the bomb shelter. No, they can't because they're in a bomb shelter, not medical school. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, though. Not in a residency. Just, I'm trying to think of, like, in a situation when you're in a bomb shelter, what are some typical injuries that a person who is in a bomb shelter that cannot leave would have? Maybe a blast Injuries, blast wounds, yeah. right? Things like that. Radiation poisoning. Radiation poisoning. I'm just scared of a nurse trying to treat all that. Like, that's something a doctor should treat. A nurse, while they yeah, are very doctor, qualified to help people. Our doctor is going to be claustrophobic the whole time. But what we can Triggered. do is we can leave like a corner, a big spacey corner of the bomb shelter just for the doctor. And no one can ever go in that corner. And what is his what does triggered mean? Like, we can what? just give the doctor some headspace. <laughs> we don't have we don't have headspace because the only app on our phone is musically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was not established. You're right. You're right. I, um, I think I'm uh, I'm in favor of the doctor. I wouldn't right. want to get like a serious injury. But the nurse injury. has four puppies. That's four puppies you have to feed. Sorry, but they're so fun and companionship and all of that. But you have to feed four extra. That's that you're feeding or five. Or you could eat four. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm with oh them. my god! <laughs> so you say doctor over nurse? I, I mean, as much as cute puppies are great, and as much as nurses are amazing and hugely necessary to the world on a daily basis, I'm going to go with doctor. I'm afraid that there are going to be things that a nurse cannot help with where a doctor could. And the puppies are just extra mouths you have to feed. Yeah, but they're so cute. Okay, we're going with the doctor. Oh, all right. right. Nurse is out. Nurse is out. Doctor is in. All right. Because we need the, the doctor. doctor is in. All right. Wow. Fox fucking sake. Okay, so we got a marina doctor. We got to think of like... Well, the marine probably is good at building shit with what he has. He also has supplies. So maybe we don't need like a... Like the architect or the mechanic because we have the marine with his well, supplies. Well, the mechanic is a fucking pedophile. 
I know. Which wouldn't be a problem if we didn't take the pregnant woman or, or the orphan or the musically star. <laughs> Assuming that the musically star is likely a child. Okay. Let's put definition. that off. Let's, we definitely don't want the lawyer either. He rapes people. What, but, like, what about the chef that chews with their mouth open? That's like kind of good. Like, a chef is someone that we'd really like to have. True. But, okay, let's, I let, mean, we should, on. we should, go, we gotta get all the people that we need first. Yeah, I feel like we're doing that. No, The no lawyer. lawyer is a rapist. We don't need a lawyer regardless. It's a lawyer. Why would we need a lawyer in a bomb shelter? No, that's very true, but, I mean, they're smart. They are smart, but they're also someone who has sex with people when they say no. They're out. They're out. <laughs> Goodbye, lawyer. <laughs> Bye, lawyer. Shouldn't make people. What if we got doctor and rapist and nurse and pedophile? That'd be fucked. We'd be fucked. We right would now. all die of. Oh man. Things. Okay. Um, the teacher or the police officer. What about these people? Or the architect. Let's organize these. Okay. The rocket scientist is someone. Who won't stop asking you to subscribe to the we YouTube channel. We should take them. We should take them. I mean, that's pretty valuable. Because we're going to be annoyed, but we're going to be annoyed anyway from everything else, like our we whole entire life. We only have eight more spots. We got to be careful here. Rocket scientist. They could also be annoying as fuck. They are annoying. They ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. But to be perfectly honest, if a rocket scientist had a YouTube channel, I would probably want to subscribe to it. And also, once you subscribe to it, they, they might not stop asking. Or, no, they don't. They never stop asking. They never stop asking. Well, we're kind of accustomed to seeing people nonstop ask people to subscribe but anyway. It's, but so. it's like Survivor. Like, sometimes just because you're really smart and great doesn't really mean that we want to live with you. That's true. It's a good point. Let's let's put that off. Okay. Um, the architect has a Mensa brain. Oh. Yeah, we should take him. All right, we should, He's probably annoying yeah, as fuck, but him. we should take him. Yeah, we should take him. Okay. We should take the architect. So, so far we have the Marine with all the supplies, the doctor who's triggered in tight situations, <laughs> and the architect who has a Mensa brain. <laughs> who we're going to try to calm down all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we'll hold off on that. The, ooh, that sorry. Love. I'm sorry. At least your the periscope mayor. won't be going off in the box. The mayor who's currently heavily addicted to meth. <laughs> okay, so who wants this to deal with someone person. going through withdrawals I in agree. a bomb shelter? I agree. And he, is, he sounds like he's corrupt as is and has no regard for his job title and that you probably shouldn't be using meth regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to say no because he's probably a real asshole. He sounds like an asshole. He's in a position of power and he's like a complete drug addict. That's not cool. Not cool. That's not cool. I don't, man. I don't like that. It's not. All right. He's out. The mayor is out. You good? To, you good? Yeah, he's okay. out. Goodbye. What about the sexy pregnant woman? Can we talk about her? I feel like she's a, a dark horse that we're going to leave to the side for right now. Okay. I'm because... just thinking about her because she's sexy. <laughs> I mean, so am I, but we have really to stay fucking sexy. really, like I underlined Three it like four times. Yeah, yeah, okay. um, what's the deal with the chef? He chooses his mouth chooses open. Chooses his mouth open. <laughs> um, okay. And you're in a bomb shelter, so that shit's going to echo. And uh, Mechanic that's a pedophile. I don't no. think we, I, yeah. I mean. What are we going to need a mechanic for that an uh, architect and a, a marine can sign, figure yeah. out? Yeah. Or we don't have the rocket scientists. We yet. don't have the rocket scientists. The architect, the architect and the marine could probably like we have no cars. You're gonna work on. We're in a bomb shelter. Like what? What? what like seriously, what could a mechanic, MacGyver down there that could somehow help us? I mean, you never know. But no, I'm 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 asking I'm asking seriously. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. Like, could he? Could he somehow engineer a way to? Like dig a different way out of the bomb shelter. That's not the way. It, like, we're not way trying to dig our way out. We're trying to live in it and stay in there. Or we're trying to find a path to a place that we couldn't get before. That's not the point of a bomb shelter. Well, the point of a bomb shelter is to shelter yourself from a nuclear winter. So you have no need to ever get out. That's it's the just point. Surviving. Okay, all right. So all right, a nuke, all right, all right. a nuke drops, and you're in your bomb shelter. Yeah, but so you eventually you want to no, no, leave. No, you live there for like 20 years, and then you leave until the radiation. Yes, is done. but when you leave, you got to think about what's going to happen then. Just saying. No, yeah, but you don't have to tunnel your way out. There's a way in and a way out. Yes, but what if the way in and the way out is like completely dumped with bodies or fucking you, aliens? You or don't need a mechanic to help you get out. I'm just, I'm. Just posing the question. 
Okay. Wow, Jenna really doesn't like mechanics. <laughs> Stop! What is the felon's deal again? The convicted felon also thinks he's a psychic, or she's. <laughs> that sounds annoying and dangerous. They think that they're a psychic. That sounds counterproductive on, like, five different levels. I he agree. kills people and he thinks he's a psychic. Or she. Ooh. This person is n- unstable. We can't. We just can't Why have it gotta you. be a guy? We can't have you. <laughs> uh, what's the orphan's deal? Um, the orphan <laughs> pretends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, that is something that I might actually <laughs> want in my life. Like, you have zero entertainment. And there's a the little child. I know, who but they're, they're also a cat. like, you know, you can't be a seven year old doctor. This is a young person. We need younger people to outlive us in case we have terrible radiation poisoning but, but and die. Do they forever pretend they're a cat? So, like, yes. when they're like 40? Yes. Let's take That's them. That's their gimmick. Let's take no, them. this is in the maybe pile. Okay, right maybe, now. maybe, maybe. We have to get all of our, like, our hard things out of all the right, way. All right, well, w- knowledge, knowledge, teacher. Okay, what does he the- got? The teacher has scissors for hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my thing with this. I don't think this is necessarily bad. It's because not bad. Edward Just stay away. Hands is like my favorite. And he's so nice. Yeah. So, I mean, if she's like that, it I will, don't really see it. It will also teach tolerance to deal with like people that are different than you. <laughs> Who is that teaching tolerance to? The seven-year-old cat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven-year-old cat. <laughs> I like the teacher with scissors. I think she provides character to the group. She, uh, you know, all right. Are we giving her a spot though? I say maybe, but I'm leaving. She could also her. give us haircuts. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. And she has scissors. Like that's, that's a huge pretty tool. valuable. But she also can't like do anything. So she she has the knowledge. She can teach us, and we'll do the rest. Mm-hmm. And she'll give everyone haircuts for free. <laughs> haircuts for life. All right. Sweet. So we all got right. four out of ten. Marine, doctor, architect, teacher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Sweet. Um, the botanist that is a violent, severe and violent alcoholic. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. If we're going to be trying to grow anything down there, they might be very helpful. Yeah, and, like, the withdrawals will last for maybe, like, a couple days, a week at most, and then... then. No, that is not true. Alcohol is the one drug Okay, so that explain. You how long do alcohol withdrawals last? a withdrawal. It depends how severe. All right, so if they die, we throw them out. Whatever. But then we've wasted a spot. Yeah, but, babe... I mean, we have a fucking seven-year-old cat, so, like, the spaces aren't <laughs> We didn't super... decide that yet. That's true. Um, let's keep him in the maybe pile, okay. just because maybe I feel like... Pile. I feel like if he... In, in the event he survives his withdrawal, right, and it yeah. doesn't, like, kill another person, we have a botanist. Well, how, how do you know that he's not going to grow fruit, ferment it, and get fucking loaded on it all the time? If he's a, if he's a raging alcoholic, that process is way too slow for his addiction. But like fermenting alcohol. If you know that you're going to be in a in a bomb shelter for 20 years and there's no alcohol down there, plus we haven't established that there's no alcohol in the bomb shelter. Hmm. If you're that much of an addict, but if he's a functional alcoholic, let him ferment the fruit and get drunk. Then he's a functioning person. Hit everybody. Oh, is he a violent? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's keep him in the navy pile. (laughs) We might be able to work with this. Okay. The teacher with scissors for hands. So, but here's the thing. Okay, but how is he going to hit the teacher with scissors for hands? Oh, you'll get fucked up. Here's the thing. But we can't have them kill each other. If I'm really in this shelter, which I am, I'm going to go to the botanist and be like, hey, bro, we'll be friends. All right, I'll sneak you some alcohol. I'll figure it out. (gasps) Hold on, hold on. How are you going to ex- expose in the I'm, group to risk no, like no, no, that? No, 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 It'll be fine because we're cool. And I'm bigger than him. And he doesn't you don't train know in jiu-jitsu. He you doesn't train in jiu-jitsu. You don't know any of that. He probably tra- He's probably a black belt. He'd probably kill everyone. Anyway, I'm going to go befriend him and give him alcohol, make him happy, and then learn as much as I possibly can about basic botany skills. And then, and then let then, the teacher kill him? Let the teacher cut him up a little bit. Oh, my God. And then we have a new botanist. A new botanist. Okay, I but, feel like oh, you could well, absorb right. information from the. I feel like botany is like a must have in a bomb shelter. You're a fucking bomb shelter. You need botany. Yeah, but what's really going to grow in there? Like, we don't have the supplies. And you to grab grow some things. soil, fucking put it down there and figure it out. What fucking do you what's mean you Matt grab Damon some soil. potato farmed on the moon, on Mars. Okay. I didn't see that movie at all. It's but a great you can't just movie. grab soil. Oh You're God. in a I shelter. Love Martian. Martian. Julian, is such the, a great movie. Julian. This episode of the Jenny Julian podcast. Stop. Is, I'm sorry. 
I hate you. The, the point of the shelter is that you're not exposed to anything but the shelter itself. Okay. When you you look, can't just like go grab some soil. All right. So, well, somehow we fit a truck down there because the Marine just brought his truck. It's there's, just supplies. Okay. So there's got to be something he can to use grow to grow. Okay. All right. Something. Fair enough. Whether it's like a MRE, all right. right? Or something. Whatever. There's something that you can grow shit with. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Here's my other thing. If he's that much of a drunk yeah what makes you so confident that he can actually teach you anything about botany he's a functioning alcoholic we didn't decide that he is a severe and violent alcoholic what if he's just That's violently like plants <clears throat> Gro- no waters them really we fast. wrote severe and violent alcoholic all right can we, we keep him in the maybe and decide right, later i like the botanist he's man maybe he's right. a maybe all right, let's decide on the police officer. Police officer who masturbates no, no less than eight times a no. day. But he's trained and skilled or in a she. lot of things. Or she. I'd much prefer a she masturbating eight times a day than a guy. Actually, that'd be really loud. Girls are... I think they're both. There's no upside to both. <laughs> There's no winning with this card. So um, are we throwing them out? Yeah, fuck them. You can't do that in a bomb. <laughs> That's <laughs> definitely not okay. Like where there's clearly like maybe only one big giant yeah, room. No, get out. Eight times a day, every day. Get out. Get, get out. out. Get, get out. out. <laughs> get out. Now. <laughs> Goodbye. That's a no. Goodbye, police. I don't officer. care if it's like the hottest pregnant woman. Okay, we no masturbating eight times a day. We have not because she might just slide in here. Okay. Yeah, she might just be left over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with the masseuse, what's their deal? Um, the masseuse makes an offensive amount of the offer, office. Yes, I mean, it. imagine, imagine no, the even soothing relaxation of getting massaged all the time down. Like you're at a bomb shelter, you're like, am I at a bomb shelter? Or am no, I at a resort? This person, what is he this? Or she is I mas- can't tell. I'm getting massages no, every day. This person is I'm massaging botany. you and I'm saying, hanging out with all my friends the whole time. Peepa. That is Pee-pa. my. That is literally my Pee-pa. heaven. That's when I die and go Pee-pa. to heaven. Someone massaging me and making office Peepa. references. Peepa. Oh, that's so relaxing Peepa. when you say office stuff. Peepa. Oh, Peepa. What's your daughter's name? Peepee? I mean, this person is an absolutely no. So necessary. I will not give you a hard no. I'm, I'm sorry. I will not agree to no. All right. So maybe pile? No. Yes. You're in a bomb shelter and someone is trained professionally at massaging you. That is the most single most stressful situation you could ever be in. Nuclear winter. And someone's there being like, hey, what can I work on you today? Your upper back, your lower back, your legs, your shoulders. What hurts? Let me fix it. While I make jokes about the best show ever created. So you can have great like <laughs> memories of the most amazing pastime when life existed. Put them in the shelter. They're amazing. Really? All right. This is your pick. I'll give you your pick. All right. I'll take the masseuse. All right. You get the masseuse. Speaking of masseuse, when's the last time you had a massage? That shit's fucking amazing. It hurts. Oh, my God. It's, it That's hurts probably because they weren't making office references to relax right. you enough. That's five. We're halfway there. We have the Marine, the doctor, the architect, the teacher, and the masseuse. Yeah. And this person has scissors for hands. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to learn so much. Dude, it's like school's in session all the time now. Like Can you imagine school. if she was your arts and crafts teacher? <laughs> Scissors fan. <laughs> okay, let's. <laughs> I think we have one that okay. we can make a decision on now. The horse that won't, <laughs> that won't stop lighting their own parts. Okay, fire. here's why. Here's why that could help. <laughs> no, because no, he's fun. No, he clearly <laughs> has a means of lighting fire. He has to have a lighter or a match, which could be used in other but, situations. Like you said, with the botanist, we've clearly already sort of prepped the shelter to have. Somewhere to grow food and food to grow. So clearly, <laughs> so we would have a fucking lighter down there. around farting fire. <laughs> I mean, in terms of like entertainment, that's like, that's top notch shit. In terms of functionality and well being, that's the worst possible scenario. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, when he stands up, he's like, same height as your head and he just burns all your hair off all the time and your eyebrows all gone he could light the whole bomb shelter on fire with his fire like what would happen though if he lit the doctor on fire with one of his farts and the doctor can't treat himself who's gonna treat him all right let's keep him in the maybe (laughs) (laughs) i agree okay maybe maybe (laughs) five 
<laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, let's do... Uh, homeless homeless person, person, kumbaya. I'm pretty sure no. That's going to smell and be annoying. The home, You don't know that. Homeless person insists on having a guitar, kumbaya, sing along every night before bed. I think after three nights, this person would be dead to me. I can't. They'd be dead I IRL. I'd kill them <laughs> with can't. their guitar. I cannot. No, no. All they're right. not coming we in. We have to say yeah. goodbye to you. I'm very sorry. You're not coming in. No, you're not. And leave your guitar outside, yeah, too, do. while you're at it. Um, okay, here's a good one. The ventriloquist, who is a veteran zombie prepper. I mean, zombie prepper? Like, that's pretty damn helpful. So, okay. But they're a fucking ventriloquist. It's so annoying. Okay, but you're literally in a bomb shelter with nothing. You don't have your phone except for the music league. So guy. that's our show every that's night? That's our show. But is that better or worse than a guitar kumbaya every night? So much better. You think so? Because we oh, can tell him to stop so or better. her to stop. Because the kumbaya guy thinks he's actually like being spiritual and helpful while really he's All right, just full everyone, of shit. everyone, gather around. Oh, God. He's like the bad Ron on Parks and Rec. I do not want that guy. I say yes to the Veteran zombie prepper. That's, is... that's such a huge feature. Yeah. And, you know, the ventriloquist thing, like there might be other uses for... For that skill, other than just performing. Like? Like, he's clearly really good with his... Mouth. Hand-eye coordinate, hand-mouth coordination. You never know where that's going to come in handy. Sounded really <laughs> dirty when I said that. I didn't mean it like that. I just All right. Mean, we got he's six. He's a skilled guy. He's, a, he's an I artist. I agree. Okay. Right, we got six. All right. Just a review. Ventriloquist, who is a veteran zombie prepper, marine with all the supplies, doctor who gets claustrophobic and triggered, architect who has a mensa brain, <laughs> teacher who has scissors for hands, and a masseuse who makes an offensive amount of office references every single day. All right. So we have four more. Um, how many are not in the maybe pile yet? Or are they basically all maybe? These two. Okay. Or a pregnant woman They're that maybe. is really sexy She's is definitely, definitely in the maybe. Okay. <laughs> Pop star. This person is like the okay. real Hold shit, on. The right? pop star sighs, complains, and says, well, what are we going to do now no room, in every situation? No room for that. No room for that. But they could sing for us. Or can they? No. They're busy asking what they have to do. Anyone who is going to say that sentence ever, let alone every single time that they talk. Well, what are we going to do now? Plus, we also can't assume that since she's a pop star or he's a pop star, that they actually have any vocal abilities That's, or music. A pop star does not necessarily have vocal abilities. Absolutely. I say no. You know, I'm with you. Goodbye. Goodbye. We have four spots. Bye. <laughs> we have. All right. So the musically person that has a two invisible friends. So we basically we'll, have we'll to get, get to rid you. of three. Yes, we have to get rid of either the rocket scientist uh, who doesn't stop asking. You. Okay, the rocket scientist that doesn't stop asking you to uh, subscribe to their YouTube channel is really not the worst. Here's honestly. why I like them because that they actually have a YouTube channel. They're useful. They're they're useful, but they're also like not completely ancient schooled rocket science. Like they're clearly in touch with the internet and the new age, so they're not annoying. Right, and, even though the internet like was just parent. destroyed. Doesn't matter. They, it's the knowledge and the way they act, the mm. life that they were used to. I say we keep, take them. All let's right. keep the rocket cool. scientists. All right. So now we have seven. I'm going to say no to the horse. What? Why? Please leave it, Leave the horse in the Maybe. baby pile. Right. Um, the chef that chews with their mouth open, not the worst. That's kind of awesome. But I mean, are we really in a world need a where chef? your entire family is dead and everyone you ever met in your life is dead and the whole world is ended... That's, like, not a problem. Any cook could cook. But, like, we only have a limited food supply. Do we even really need a chef? I mean, if you have, like, limited food supply, a chef is the most important thing because he's going to make that limited food taste so much better than it would have. Yeah, maybe know better how to ration our food, too. Yeah, yeah. And also, probably, he can, like, be a second teacher and help us with our nutrition. I say we take the chef. All right, we'll keep the chef. Keep the chef. I agree. Right. Okay. So we two, have two for two spots. More. Oh, All right, pregnant so woman, man. right now we have a really sexy pregnant woman, a horse that lights its own farts on fire, a musically star with two make-believe friends, a severe and violent alcoholic botanist, and a seven-year-old orphan that pretends they're a cat. Here's why I think we need the botanist. No. Can I just make an argument? Why don't we just cut to the chase and at keep the really sexy point, pregnant woman? At some point, we are going to run out of food. We need to be able to cultivate food. We have to, or else we're all going to die. We have a zero tolerance policy for 
violence in this shelter. You'd be dead. You don't have a zero tolerance policy policy for anything if you're dead. You'd starve to death. He's the one who's going to keep everyone alive. If we can, everyone can team up and be like, how do we keep this alcoholic from punching everyone and functioning? How do we give him enough alcohol to function and how to limit him to well, from being Well, what if he decides that he's pissed off and he like it's the, sabotages our risk, food supply because he's drunk or you she's drunk? Have to take when he creates food, mm. when they create food, you make it so that you have eyes on them so that they can't just fucking wreak havoc. You like, you what have to have. they get drunk a, and create a fight that didn't even happen and then decide? that they're not going to grow any food for anybody anymore. That's not a problem because that whole that whole scenario you just described wouldn't have existed because everyone would be dead without him. God. I'm sorry, a botanist is... Unless they're like a fucking child rapist, I have to take a botanist. All like right. you need fine, a botanist. Fine, then we only have one more spot. Here. He's your problem though. Or she. Your problem. Why has it got to be a guy? You. I just said or she. Why has it got to be a girl? The botanist that is a severe alcoholic. Yeah, and enjoy violent enjoy your potatoes every night that you that appeared out of thin air. Well, that was your argument to keep the chef is that the chef will know how to make that. These two together, Ugh. we're gonna be eating fucking gourmet shit. Yeah, and one of them's gonna, gonna eat fucking... their mouth open, and the other one's gonna punch that one in the face. It's gonna so? be terrible. Oh my god, we are gonna eat so well. I'm like excited for dinner tonight now. Mm-mm. The teacher with scissors for hands. Okay, we'll make sure she I'm sets sorry. it for us. He. Can we just get rid of the musically person? They're going to annoy the fuck out of everyone. All right. The one that has two invisible friends named. Like, they're, crow- they're, crowding, they're crowding our space right. with two invisible friends and their music. And music. they already used our emergency phone to make to a make musically a music. and then asked everyone in the room why it didn't post. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and also got mad at everyone because there were no likes on it because everyone in the world is dead. And what the Wi Fi password is. Fuck them. Okay. We have a horse. We only have one spot left, right? Yeah, but the choice yeah. is pretty clear. All right. You know, a horse that wants to... No. <laughs> Sexy-ass pregnant women. Yeah, but what about the seven-year-old orphan you're always who talking about, a cat? You're always... Okay. Here's, here's my argument. Do we want a sexy pregnant woman who's sexy, will be pregnant, have the kid, and continue to be sexy, likely, and have a young child who is probably also a good-looking person when they grow up, or do you want a kid that acts like a cat for the rest of their life? <laughs> because I'm not picking the horse. Because it's cute for now, but not when they're 30. No, no, not when they're like anything above 15. That shit's annoying. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, right. think of that. So we're keeping the sexy pregnant woman. And she's having a baby. So yeah, it's we, we get another person. We can person. all cheer. But and we get another person and, and then we get another mouth to feed, which you said was not a, a good sexy quality. sexy mouth to feed. How do you know? Because she's sexy. He's oh probably going to be sexy. God. So the, but then we have 13 people in our bomb shelter. That's an unlucky number. We don't have That's 13. Yeah. Oh, us too. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. Oh, the whole world is already obliterated. What much worse luck can you have? But you said we couldn't have four puppies. One baby compared to four puppies? You're not going to eat nearly as much as those giant dogs end up being. How do you know they're not four chihuahuas? Doesn't fucking matter. Because the think- mom's going to die and the kid's going to survive eventually. All right. You know, and she's sexy. Uh, yeah. Are okay. you jealous that I like the sexy pregnant woman, Jenna? No, not at all. I think she's sexy, she's too. She's, she's really, really, really sexy. sexy. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's go over our final <laughs> list. <laughs> all right. All right. So we're saying goodbye to a horse. Bye, horse, dude. Like, I don't want your fire farts on my on fucking fire. bomb shelter. Oh, but it could have been so great. It's funny, but then you have a f- fire farting horse in your bomb shelter. <laughs> but we can ride him. Where? <laughs> Just in tiny circles, lighting everyone on fire. <laughs> oh, I saw I saw a video of a horse like kick someone when they came up and startle them, and yeah. that shit's fucking brutal. Yeah, dude. no, it's terrifying. God and damn. we also we said goodbye to the seven year old orphan dude, that pretends we that love you, cat. but sorry, no cats. Ugh, all, all right, right, so who do we got left? Read your five, and I'll read mine. The marine who has a truck full of guns, food, water, and other supplies that they will bring. You're in the shelter. The doctor who is triggered in claustrophobic situations is in our shelter. The architect 
who has a Mensa brain is so clearly in our shelter and not problematic by comparison. The teacher who has scissors for hands is in our shelter. And the masseuse who makes an offensive amount of The Office references in a day is in our fucking shelter. Also in our shelter is a chef who chews with his mouth or her mouth open, a pregnant woman who is really sexy, really a rocket sexy. scientist who will not stop asking you to subscribe to their YouTube channel, a botanist who is a severe and violent raging alcoholic, Ugh. and a ventriloquist who is a veteran zombie prepper. I would say we did okay and we'll probably live a decently long time considering the resources we have and the people we picked. I think we did good. Yeah, but that fucking violent drunk is going to kill us all. No, we have a Marine. He can handle him. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's got his gun. He just yeah, fucking hold the gun to the drunk. You know who could have killed him really quickly is the horse that farts fire. Yeah, that would have been a disaster. It would have been amazing. Yeah, enjoy having fucking fiery dead people because you're... He can cook our food with his farts. Yeah, all this food smells so good and then this fucking horse fire farts all over <laughs> <laughs> and then it suddenly isn't so damn appetizing. <laughs> it's funny imagine, until like, you're hungry and your food is fart. Right, right when you go to sleep and he's like, <gasps> <laughs> I love you, babe. Good night. Oh, you're lit on fire by a fart. Good night. You're dead. Oh, that was a great way to die. Wow. <laughs> but think of the constant source of heat. If you could get over the smell, the constant if source If you of could heat. get over the smell. <laughs> Yeah, fucking right. I'm not getting over that smell. I'll, 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 I'll fucking off myself. I'm going up to the radiation. <laughs> Bye. I'm not smelling this it's like, anymore. It's a dark and closed, like, bomb shelter, and it smells like horse farts lit on fire, and he dumps all over the place. <laughs> yeah, like, what about his yeah, shit? Like, yeah, we will literally yeah. drown in his shit in, like, a week. <laughs> <laughs> but he's such a good friend. Uh, and you can ride him. You can't argue with that. Fuck. He just like shits all over the room. And, <laughs> and the lights is on. But okay. Okay. Think about this though. He would have no tail because it would be gone. So? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? It would have got like lit on fire a long time ago. Okay. I'm so glad we don't have a fire farting horse. Goodbye, horse. I think we did good, though. This was fun. This was really fun, by this the way. Thank you. This was insanely fun. To our friend uh, for, for suggesting this game. This is brilliant. We love games like this for the yeah. podcast. So if you guys have any games this was really or suggestions, fun. we will absolutely read the comments and, and hop on and do yeah. another game because this was great. Well, I imagine anytime you play this, it's completely different. That's true. We could, awesome. we could play this again, too. Yeah. We could do round this two sometime. This is really fucking fun. Um, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And Thank it was you. fun to be with you. As much as we have fun with our guests, it was fun to I know. do we, a, a podcast. We do get carried away, like, sometimes. excited to have guests on, but we, we also really cherish the time just having our... J and J podcast. This was fucking dope. This was dope. I like this. Hopefully game. you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Headspace for sponsoring the podcast, guys. Go check out headspace.com slash Jenna Julian. Download the free app and 10, 10 days of free guided meditation. Links are in the description. Also with Bull and Branch. That's B L L and Branch.com. Promo code Jenna Julian. Yeah, thank you, sponsors. Uh, thank you to sponsors. Uh guys, go check them out. They make the the show uh completely free for you guys. Yeah. Also, uh, we are currently in the process of getting the podcast on other platforms so, uh, like Spotify things like that so we are working on it we are in the process we have heard you guys that you want to listen on those things we are working on it so just so you know you are being heard also happy 4th of July there is currently a sale on our merch store right now there so is Jenna Julian podcast.com and click merch there's happy a Ambiarica. 4th of July freedom sale for you freedom um, sale there's all, all sorts of deals all sorts of awesome merch the sweet Kermit shirts everything you guys might want they are on sale right now due to the 4th of July so go check them out yeah we love you guys very much yeah it was fun as that fun. Was, it was really fun alright I'll see you guys next week bye bye guys